Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a synth DIY guy. I'm back from my summer break and ready to start back up with a classic of the Euro DIY scene, the Even VCO from Bifaco in Barcelona. This module has been around a while, but as the flagship oscillator of a great brand, it's been continually improved upon over the years. This latest iteration has been overhauled and tracks extremely well over many octaves, stays in tune for a long time and stays stable even when powered by sketchy switching PSUs. It's actually the most solid analog VCO in my system. At 8 HP it's a small module, but it still features a nice big knob for the wide ranging octave switch. It has a fine tune control and a post width modulation knob, as well as inputs for FM, post width modulation, hard sync and two inputs for one volt per octave CV control. Not only does it sport the four classic waves, sine, triangle, pulse and saw, but adds a fifth waveform which sounds very nice on its own, the even wave which gives the module its name and emphasizes the even harmonics of the fundamental. In the kit envelope you get a printed build guide, which I recommend you read and follow carefully while building. You also get a nice black aluminum panel and two PCBs, which come with some SMD components already soldered on, notably the precision resistors that set the octaves on the big octave switch, ensuring its accuracy. You also get the power ribbon, some knurlies for mounting it to your rack, and the screws, spacers and headers to attach the PCBs together, as well as all of the other hardware and electronic components needed to complete the build. Everything neatly organized in baggies labeled according to their corresponding boards. Building it is straightforward. Start by placing and soldering the resistors, diodes and ferrite beads on board A. As usual, I solder them from above, thus avoiding having to turn the board over multiple times and dealing with a sea of leads. Once they're soldered on, you can then turn it over, clip all of the leads and touch up any joints where the solder didn't go all the way through. Next, following the logic of mounting the components in order of height, go to the IC sockets. I used the panel to hold them in place while I turned the board over to solder them up. Then I placed all of the ICs in their respective sockets, making sure they were correctly oriented, followed by the film capacitors. After that I mounted the trim pots, and using the foam the ICs came in to hold them in place, I used my snake charmer technique, where I make a freestanding solder hook so I can hold the board with one hand and the iron with the other and solder the trim pots on nice and snug. After that I did the same with the power header and the male headers that connect the two boards electrically. Moving on to the second board, I again soldered on all of the resistors followed by the trim pot and the female headers and then started with the hardware. Make sure you clip the position lug on the switch as well as the two pots. Mount but do not solder the jacks, switch and pots. Place and tighten the panel to make sure everything lines up, then solder it all up. Finally attach the metal spacers to the control board, attach both boards together and tighten the screws on the spacers. Put on the control knobs and you're ready for calibration. Calibration is made easier by the fact that you can simply use the octave switch as your voltage reference, so you don't need an external keyboard or MIDI to CV converter for tuning. No wave shape calibration is required. This is it for this video, I'm actually making the build and demo video separate from now on, so please click on the link to see the demo of this awesome module. See you soon and stay noisy!